Wow, it's packed. So where's the artiste? I always try and create some tension in my work. Once the reviewer said of a certain piece of mine, they said, I, I think that's disgusting. I said, good. I wanted to disgust you. Sometimes I'll be working on a piece and I'll think, no, this is bullshit. So I will literally rub all excrement on the piece as a meta metaphor. Excuse me. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Julie, à la voilà. Mm. La reine de la soirée. But it's going you. Kieran, you remember Tim? The stockbroker. No, no. I, uh, I work for a private equity firm that specializes in distressed assets. So kind of a stockbroker. Almost nothing like a stockbroker. Do you mind if I just call you stockbroker? It's the way I remember people. You're stockbroker, Tim. Hey, so what do you think? Oh, really tremendous work. They're so big. And you're in all of them. Come with me, Tim. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a little ranch. I say little, it's absolutely massive if you actually measure it outside of town where I go to disappear. Get away from this bullshit. One of my zebras was in labor. It was a messy business. The foal was in breach. At about the 22nd hour, I just said, stuff it. And I just thrust my hand in, turned the little guy around. Wow. Do you have any idea what it's like, Tim, to be up to your elbow in a zebra's vagina and feel life, new life, fresh life? No, I don't. You should try it, Tim. It's magical. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. She let me keep the afterbirth to create this piece. Oh, wow, that's disgusting. I don't think I get it, Kieran. Poppycock. You've been stockbroking too long, Tim. Oh, wow. What does it make you think of? I guess it kind of makes me, um, think of your penis. Then you get it. Julie gets it. I need you to